Let's, let's know a little about a, a little bit about NY Trucking Princess. NY Trucking Princess in the building. Yes, ma'am. Now, you know, from from your TikToks, man. I mean, how, it doesn't. Sh- it, it people can't tell that you've been that you've been driving for quite a while. How, how long have you? How long have you been driving? I've been driving fifteen years. Now, see, where where are you guys coming from? Like, I mean, y'all just coming out of the woodwork. And it's like a couple of drivers that, you know, that gets on this app like, yeah, I've been driving for 10, 15, 20, 25 years. Like, I never heard of you. And I, you know, I, you know, I've been driving for the short time, but I've been in social media for a long time. And I, and I'm only now coming across you guys on TikTok. Now, before we get into, before we get into everything, uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? And uh, tell the people what you used to do before trucking. Okay, well, I'm Antoinette, also known as NY Trucking Princess on TikTok. Um, Before trucking, I was in corporate America. I was a financial advisor and a mortgage broker for a large East Coast bank. Okay, okay. Uh, it was 2007, the market crashed, and I started driving trucks. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> trucks, real estate. Trucks, real estate. Where, where did the two com- Where <laughs> did the two crash at? Like, you're in real estate, and you're in the office. You're in corporate America. You. You know, you, you, you're on the phone, you're doing deals, you going house to house. Where the hell the thought of a truck come in at over there? <laughs> well, my father was a driver, and I have, uh, like, 15 cousins that drive also. God and damn, And my cousins. significant other also was driving uh, at the time, you know, that the market crashed, and then I lost, you know, I got laid off, so... Um, he was like, well, why don't you just come out and drive? You know, you know, I always wanted to do it, but my family tried to keep me out of it, you know? Mm-hmm. So at the time I was just like, you know what, what do, what do I have to lose? So I ended up loving it. Okay. Okay. So getting into, getting into truck driving because of your father, did you, did you go out with your father when he was driving or you, what, what, what was it? What was it growing up with a truck driver as a father? Yeah. But yeah, I mean, but he was more like local, you know, he owned like the the company, so he didn't do too much driving. It was like others, you know, Shit, it was I like the it. family surrounding me said it, you know, so I've been in it all my life, you know. Okay. Okay. Shit. Your father like, yo, I'm not trying to go over the road. I got a family, a daughter to feed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he was over the road before that, you know, but kind of, you know backed off once he built up to where he wanted to be. Mm-hmm. So your fa your your father, how how long he's been how long he's been driving? And shout out to your father, by the way. Uh well he's deceased, but he drove about probably about twenty, thirty years, I guess. Wow, that was and that must what, back in the late eighties, early late sixties, seventies and eighties around that? <laughs> Around that mark yeah. right there? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Man, I'm sure your father would I'm sure your father has some good stories of those times, man, because a lot of a lot of new cats, a lot of these millennial cats, a lot of these uh uh wanna be YouTubers and all like that, they they don't know nothing. Nothing about about, about real trucking back in the day. Can can I safely say that? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. All right. All right. So NY, you uh NY, I'm 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 assuming you from New York, but your but your phone number listing you as Mississippi. <laughs> What's Yeah, I moved down south about a year and a half ago. What? Yeah. 
So too 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 much hustle and bustle up in uh up in New York. Was you was you born and raised up in New York or 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 what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what's so what was life like up in New York and then moving down to a state like Mississippi where it's a little bit slower? What what, what what's the difference between the two? And what and, it's and, a definite culture shock. It's a culture shock. I mean, you know, like I had been through there, but as far as like living there, I never thought that I would be there. So, you know, but it's it's a peaceful thing. It's probably what I needed, and I'm good. Okay, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, so NY, 15 years uh, being in the business, trucking. Um, what are some of the what, what what are you've been in it for a long time what what are some of the worst trucking days that 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 you experienced out here the worst trucking days yeah yeah you know some some days that you just get up and drive and then all of a sudden the day just turned to crap Are you talking about like a specific day or just like a no, I specific mean, event? No, any anything specific. I mean, you've been you've been driving for fifteen years. I'm sure it hasn't been all kosher, right? No, 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 no. Right. Well, uh, worst day, uh, my significant other died on me in a driver's seat. So, uh, right in my arms, and this happened like last summer. So that was the worst day that I've had out here you know nothing tops that <laughs> you but it's, it's a reality you 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 talked about that on your TikTok and I was going to bring that up at a later uh at, at later in the in the podcast but since you brought it up already take if it's not too hard for you can you, can you pretty much take us back to that day to what actually happened well, um, we were in Wisconsin. We were picking up a run. It was like, you know, the couple of days before the 4th of July, and it was our last run to go home, you know, for that week. You know, we were just going to drop the load off and then deadhead home and, you know, celebrate the week of the 4th of July and barbecue, whatever we normally would do. And um, he went inside to get, you know, the paperwork. We got loaded. He came back out. He was like, I'm not feeling well. So, you know, I thought it was hot. Put the fan on him, whatever. And he kind of felt better. And then he was sitting up talking to me, laughing. And all of a sudden, he just says, oh, shit. And that was his last words. And he just had a massive heart attack right there on me. So. My God. What? Oh my God. I am so sorry to... Uh to hear that and so sorry for your uh, loss my definite condolences goes out to you um thanks my um what was he was he driving or was y'all or was y'all you know posted no he was we were we would have been driving if it had been five minutes later um but he like I said, he went and tried, got the paperwork, and he was, like, you know, putting it in the system and stuff like that. And um, luckily, we weren't driving, so he was sitting still. He didn't give no no type of indication or or anything like that. It was just... No. It was, it was abrupt. Nothing. It was abrupt. He was just talking like you and I are talking right now, and he just says, oh, shit, and he's gone on me. Oh, my God. So, yeah, I I relive that every single day, you know? And why? When that, I, I can imagine so many emotions going at one time. Um, when the ambulance finally got there um mm -hmm. what what did what did they say or or do did they try to resuscitate him or anything like that oh yeah yeah they they did their best they tried to bring him back i mean they worked on him for a good 
45 minutes probably. I mean, and they got there very quickly. I mean, I was trying to work on him before they got there because I was trained too. So, um, you know, but there was nothing that I could really do. There was nothing that they could do. How long have y'all, how long have y'all been married all together? We were uh, 15 years, like, you know, off and on. So, yeah. Again, my my condol- a long hit. So. My my condolences uh, to you. Um, was it was it both of y'all ideas uh, at the time to to team with one another? Yeah, yeah. He, I mean, well, he's the one that actually trained me years ago. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, but we were, you know, best of friends before that. So, you know, kind of evolved i guess you could say <laughs> uh was was y'all was y'all training from a was y'all training from a, a a different company like you know you you came into the company and y'all just y'all y'all just connected that way or y'all was already friends no. prior to getting into trucking no we were already friends prior to getting into trucking awesome 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 uh, so, wow, man, in, any kids with each other? No kids. So, no. so you, of course, went through a, went through, went through a thing, a tragic, tragic thing that happened. And I, I'm, I'm sure that that messed with you mentally. Um, and to bring that up because a lot of, a lot of drivers out here really deal with mental health issues, but they really don't have, Mm -hmm. they really don't have that much, uh, uh, help, I should say. Um, there's, Mm -hmm. there's no, there's no connection out here for drivers that have, uh, mental health issues mentally mm-hmm. how did that how did that affect you mentally in trying to continue trucking I mean it, it it messed with me it still messes with me but I know what I have to do you know I can't just like I can't sit around and feel sorry for myself you know um, you know I have his family that I have to take care of and um, you know myself and that's that so awesome that's that's, you know i don't have another choice i don't have someone that i can you know i don't have the rich sugar daddy and i don't have to win the lottery ticket so (laughs) that's out (laughs) that's what's up that's what's up um so how so you know that you 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 know what you have to do so how how are you how how are you doing it like what what are you doing to keep yourself mentally same from you know from you know from being messed up honestly i do tiktok Mm. (laughs) believe it or not you know and i mean i you know i talk to you know my friends and you know little family and all that kind of stuff so i just kind of you know push on and i because i know like you know he wouldn't want me to be you know grieving like that over him so i just that's what i think about you know i think about what he would want so you think about the good old, that's what you, keeps you, me safe you think about the good times instead of the worst times yeah 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 exactly well i i gotta i, I gotta give it to you you know definitely keep your head up and make sure that you keep it pushing out here being a female being a female right. driver out here you've been out here for 15 years uh have there been has there ever been uh any situations that 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 you know that you could talk about that happened to you you know with the you know uh, some of the drivers that don't think you guys at least the male drivers at least the old school drivers that don't think you guys uh need to be out here or deserve to be out here what do you say what do you say to the veteran drivers that be saying that Oh, I mean, 
you know, I had people tell me that, like, you know, when I was in driving school because I was a Present. 